So, Jim, what did you think of Friday the 13th, Part 3? Ah, uh, Patrick, he was really boring. He was really boring. Was not that great of a movie. The kills, I think, were mediocre for the most part, like compared to our next movie anyways, I think. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I guess that's all I really have to say about it. I know, I know <laughs> from the way you've been talking about it the whole time that this one is definitely not your favorite. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. what do you think? <laughs> yeah, this this is not a hot take for, for, like, lovers of film to say this is a bad movie. It might be a hot take for, like, Friday the 13th fans, because I think generally this movie is well-liked, you know. Is it really? Mask and I th- for, like, Friday the 13th fans, I think. Ugh. This isn't one of the two or three that gets continually derided at any rate. And I will say this movie might be my least favorite in the series. It's definitely up there. I think it's probably got the fewest redeeming qualities in the series. I'm not the biggest Jason X fan. I don't really like that movie, but that movie has at least kind of like a fun meta tone that I could see people really enjoying more than I did. And if nothing else, it's got some of the coolest kills in the movie, like the yeah. liquid nitrogen yes, thing yeah. and an updated version of the sleeping bag kill. Jason Takes Manhattan sucks, but at least we get you know 30 seconds of Jason actually walking around Manhattan, which is kind of fun. I like when he kicks the little punk's stereo. I like when he's just going through the subway, like pushing people out of the way. Like that's kind of all I enjoy about that movie. Well, well, actually, he punches someone's head head off too. One of the best kills. Part five, it's kind of only got the nudity and just the overall trashiness, but I still think that has more going for it than this in terms of just like something that's a little different and kind of enjoyable, even in a guilty pleasure kind of way. I just this movie just doesn't do a whole lot for me. Yeah, I don't know. It, it it just feels like they were lazy with this movie. They were like, oh, well, people like the first two. Let's just do something similar. But it's almost like they cut out all the things that people liked about the first two. You know, especially one is interesting and creative kills. Well, I think they do that. I think they just don't do a good job of it. Maybe you're right. Yeah. Because, I mean, harpoon through the eye, head crushed between someone's hands with the eyeball popping out. Yeah, I, I a guess dude it's just kind shitty. of getting split in half with a meat cleaver. Like I, they're trying, at least in that sense, but it, it just doesn't work as well. I don't know. I think some of it is just the movie's not as interestingly shot, and I think a lot of that is they're just trying to do the three D stuff, like juggling yes. yo yo. Yeah, that's just as important in this. Those gags are just as important in this movie as like the kills. Yeah. Yeah, so, it, yeah, it's like know. this movie was a vehicle for 3D effect. So this movie was a ve- vehicle for Larry Zerner's juggling skills. <laughs> yeah, he's like, hire me. I'm a great juggler. I do great at kids' parties. Look at me. I, but I think this movie does, like, even what the original or the first two films might not have done great. I think this movie just does a worse version of them. I think the final girl here is mediocre at best. They tried to spice things up by throwing in a rape scene, if you will, like <laughs> the, the rape backstory. Yeah. And that to me really doesn't work. Like that to me is so we don't fully know and appreciate what Jason is yet. So we're just trying something out mm-hmm. and it didn't stick. None of the other movies did anything like this, but they're like, Jason's only been the killer in one movie. Let's try something. And then, it, yeah, it obviously just, again, no one talks about it. Everyone complains about Freddy being a pedophile. <laughs> uh, this this to me is more jarring because it's less in character than Freddy being a pedophile <laughs> in the in the Elm Street remake. Yeah, it, it, it really comes out of nowhere because you have like this hulking beast of a mindless, or uh, this hulking beast of a man who is essentially a mindless zombie. Listen, if there's anyone in this movie who rapes someone, it should have been Shelly. Yeah, you know what I mean. I mean, yeah, that's, I know exactly that's, what you he's, mean. He's, yeah, but but let's just let's just not talk about rape in Friday the Thirteenth movies. I'm, this might be the only movie that does it. I can't remember. Well, no, I guess in part eight, there's um, a couple of junkies in the mean streets of Vancouver, Manhattan, who try and take <laughs> advantage of the main character after they drug her up. I guess there's a, and there's Freddy versus Jason. Someone's about to be raped. And in both instances, J- Jason ends up killing the would-be rapist. Not, not that Jason is a moral character, but just in these <laughs> movies, like, we understand we don't need to see this. And if someone is about to rape someone or someone rapes someone, we want to see the rapist punished, even if it's Jason who may end up killing the person who gets raped, too. You know, like, we still want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, that's really my thoughts on this. It's just It was just a boring, slow 
movie with mediocre effects and kills and the characters were just yeah we gotta shit. say stan winston has some kind of credit in this movie i didn't see his name in the credits but he's listed on imdb so if this stan winston was involved in these kills and these effects it's probably a career low for him <laughs> <laughs> he was also yeah. involved, because Stan Winston, right, Aliens, he's involved mm-hmm. in Jurassic Park, all these big special effects movies. He is also, original, according to IMDb, he's like listed under Friday the 13th Part 2 as well, but I think he was originally hired to do that, but then left during filming to do something else. So it's like maybe some of his work is still in that movie. But yeah, I don't know. Stan Winston, you know, Pumpkinhead, the best creature design in film history. Stan Winston has a proud history of that kind of thing, but this 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 doesn't cut it. <laughs> yeah, 